Hey guys, this is Asraf. So this video is to assemble this Prusa multimeter upgrade kit. As you can see on my previous video, I did unboxing video of this upgrade kit. I ordered the quad material. Means that um, four material can be fit into this printer alone. So I will have three of these motor extruder over here also the first step on doing this is to dismantle all the extruder or the extruder part for this printer I got over here just turn it off and also I'm going to fit in a small LED strip over here will be glued underneath the 30 mm fan, not permanently. I will be using a double sided acrylic tape. So let's get started in disassembling the extruder unit of this printer. I'm going to put this box away first. Okay, guys. I finally completed the assembly process of the Prusa Multimaterial Upgrade Kit. Mine, once again, is the Quad Multimaterial Upgrade Kit. So, I got four extruder over here connected to the Y splitter. I called it the Multimaterial Jig over here. What changed is the extruder base body here or the hot end base body um, the extruder body for the motor there, the motor mount so also that the motor style, the extruder style I think they use the bond tag style because between the motor shaft and the pulley both are gears and then I fitted in this um, Prusa Super Switch. This one is a is an old version, the Mark Three of the Prusa Switch for the multi-material upgrade. And I got to say that it is very hard to contain all these wires coil inside here together. Not just that. Mm hmm. It took me quite a while to install all of them together and this one also took me at least about 30 minutes for both of them means that I got four holder here took me quite about four and a half hour and I decided to take quite a long rest before I continue on and I did mention that I'm going to put on LED underneath so it has been fitted there as you can see the white strip there and behind here is the wire for the LED strip I'm going to of course going to rearrange that later on I haven't plugged this thing on yet not a single thing not even before the rest so here goes nothing, I'm going to turn it on, switch turn on, not the main switch, 3, 2, 1, here goes nothing. Okay, the screen shows quite good and the light is good as well, we have some reflection over there which is nice fitted over there so I'm going to flash a new firmware meant for multi-material upgrade kit give me a second okay currently upgrading the firmware I mean updating the firmware to use with the multi-material kit over here the multi-material firmware currently this updating you can see the block characters here so all I do is just have 
to wait. And it's finally done. I've loaded the pre-flight check document, PDF document. So we're going to check what's needed to be done. Um, okay, we need to align the nozzle by touching onto the build plate, left and right, and then make it go to the center by using this zip tie as a measurement for this. I think that the idea of using this is to have the um, the setting, the I think the live Z axis, the Z offset, yes, the Z of offset. So that the Z offset will be very minimal, probably around 50 microns or 100, probably a maximum of minus 200 microns. Um, I'm going to use my own method for that one because with this, who knows, right? Um, by using this, you, you might destroy your your um, build surface, the surface of your bed over there because there are too much gap and not much room for adjustment there. So I'm going to use my own method by giving a smaller gap between the pinda probe and the bed itself. And what else? Checking, checking, update firmware, that's done. And we're going to use the self-test and then calibration for Z-axis alone. Mm, and then load filament. Um, I forgot to download this particular G code over here. Mm. I think I'm going to use the old G code. And that's it. So let me adjust the uh, pin up probe first. So currently the bed are being checked by now um, from the self-test procedure. This 3D Benchy is the famous, of course, the famous model for you to print and check the print quality, also the setting of your slicer. I tried to download, I downloaded the model for multi-material multi-color printing for this 3D Benji and try to load it onto the Slicer Prusa Edition. In the end, that the model are pretty much broken and cannot be printed optimally from the preview pane there. So, I think I'm going to leave a comment on that, on this object by the Thingiverse page there about the object kind of broken yeah broken for more for dual color and above so self tests are okay what changes made for the multi material upgrade is actually this um, as you can see that it's too bright for you guys to see but bear with me over here, the, you will see that this is the extruder 1, means that you are currently active on extruder 1. So we are going to do Z axis calibration over here. Calibrate Z, yes, all the way to the top. So basically, in this multi material upgrade kit, I, you don't have to adjust the X and Y axis, what you need to adjust is actually the extruder axis, E axis, what do you call it anyway? So, you do a self test and then just a calibrate Z axis only, nothing much needed to be done. So, everything is okay. We are, I am going to load this filament by loading filament load all filament one two three four i have up to five colors right now five or six colors i don't know what color do i choose 
and also I need to rearrange my table here there is a mess over there so I'm going to quickly arrange this short day and I'm thinking of making this spool holder to be like this There you go, like that. Ouch. There. How's that? Looks a bit organized. I think, yeah, going to be using this kind of setup. I'm going to load in the filament. Do I need to heat up the hot end? I'm not sure. I'm going to heat up the hot end anyway. Let's increase the z-axis As usual 100mm equals to 10cm This filament Okay, it might be tricky to insert the filament because I have to insert it from below And... Okay, let's try to heat up the extruder the hot end I mean is going to heat up the bed and the hot end over here in the meantime I'm going to choose which filament I'm going to lock in as well I think I'm going to lock in more recent green from magma filament for resin green on to the second extruder here okay the hot and are uh, hot currently 240 degrees celsius i'm going to load the filament into filament one what about load all filament Let's try that. Insert filament into extruder 1. Click when done. Okay. Now, insert filament into extruder 2. The second filament, which is this. Ah, okay. During this procedure, the motor are moving, pulling the filament slowly so that it will grip the filament. Now, filament number 3. What color? What color? I think I'm going for blue. And then... Purple. Yes. Here we go. Blue and purple. Purple are going to be inside the filament um, extruder number three. I can hear the motor squeaking. It's actually pulling the the filament in. There, the filament has been gripped. There you go. Oops. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty fun. Now, the final color, which is the blue color. Oops, it, it didn't get loaded into the... It's written number 4. I'm going to unload the filament again. Number 4. Okay, it didn't get loaded. Okay, finally it get loaded. Okay guys, I'm going to wrap up on this assembly video for the multi-material upgrade kit. I'm sorry that the even this post post video as well took quite a bit of while. This is my very first time on handling multi-material upgrade for the Prusa printer here, my Mark II here. So it finally has been upgraded to multi-material with four material that can go in. But all of them are ABS. So I'm going to wrap up. During the assembly, it really does makes me tired, quite tired and 
took me at least four and a half hours to print this. Not not printing, nah. More like in assemble the thing, everything together. Um, what else? Yeah, it's all about the assembly process anyway. So I'm going to sign out. If you like this video, do give me a thumbs up. If you don't like this, give me a thumbs down. Sideways, if you feeling neutral, anything, do give me comment down below. If you have any question or suggestion, do support me on Patreon as well. Subscribe to me if you haven't. Asraf signing out. Thank you for watching.